So much like Geometa, I saw something shiny, which is spaceships. This is the Eagle, and this is from a 1970s TV show called Space 1999, and it is a work in progress. But that's not what I'm going to show you today. Today, I'm going to show you this, and this is microcontrollers. Now, something I've been wanting to do for a very long time is kind of go through and find some microcontrollers that I can put together, and maybe I want to use them, or maybe you want to use them. But I kind of want to show them off because a lot of attention goes on to builds, but not so much some cool microcontrollers. And much like builds that don't stay on the top five, if there's a microcontroller out there that's cool, it gets dropped off and lost in the workshop. So I thought I would highlight the seven that I found so far for the astronomy sensor. And so here they are. So we're going to go through them. All right. So they all kind of have different features. And one of them has a bug that I found. This one right there has a bug. And I'll show you how to fix it if you want to use this one because this one actually has a bit more features. But uh, first of all, we're going to go through them. And I really like how 454 has been displaying his tutorials and stuff like that. So I thought, okay, I'll put a little bit more effort into my display here. And uh, this is it. So I hope you like it. It took a while. Okay, so let's get started with the first one. So the first one is called the Space Velocity Meter. And this is by Sir Jeff Lees, or Sir Jeff Lees. I'm not sure which one it is, but that's his name. So it doesn't have any of these features. The red circles mean no features for it, but it does have a lunar approach speed and an absolute speed for, I guess, your spacecraft. So there you go. Uh, that's the two features it has. The second one, of course, is by Tenente Velaskovich. Velaskovich, oh, it's fun to say. And this one is just a display and the little red guy will move towards the moon as you get there and we'll move back towards the Earth as you go towards the Earth. And that's all the features it has. And that's the controller right there. Ta-da! Next up, we have Domination. And this one has, let's see, distance to Earth. It has the Earth XY, and it has velocity XY as well. And finally, it has the absolute speed. Yay! Number four, it does feature distance to the moon. It also features the uh, distance to the Earth, the XY, it has the vertical velocity, which is going towards the moon, I believe. And it has the speed. And this one's made by Cageless. All right, number five. Number five is called the Astronomical Sensor Reader. And this is by Nick Knoll. And this is the one that is reading 99,000 higher than these other two. I should probably look in there. Maybe we'll look in there in a second and see if it's doing feet or something like that. So we'll do that. And we have the X, Y. And then we have the X velocity, Y velocity, and Z velocity. And finally, it has a speed sensor. There we go. Number six is called the Astronomy Sensor to GPS Speed Altitude Converter, and this is by Ace Painter. Uh, it has the 490, and this one has 499, and oops, 490. And then it has the altitude at 0 0.012. Interesting. And then we have the Earth XY. This one also has an XYZ for your position in space, but these are inverted, so they're wrong inside the ship. And then we have a lunar approach, and we have the absolute speed. Uh, this is also the only chip that has a speed and distance uh, unit conversion that you can change. So that's pretty cool. All right, but we'll have to go in there and I'll show you where the bug is on this one. Although I think we want to check this one as well, number five. Okay, so finally, number seven is a space speed sensor computer. And this is by Master Mookie and Dr. End. So it does not have the distance to the moon. It does have the distance to the Earth. And it has an X, Y, Z. It also has X, Y, Z velocity. So this one is probably the most complete version minus the distance to the moon. It also does not have the lunar approach speed, but it does have the uh, absolute speed. So very cool. So let's take a look at these two and I'll show you what the bug is with this one. Let's go check it out. So first off, looking in here, you can see that Z is connected to number two. So these are wrong. So we want Z to go to Y and number three goes to that one. So that's how it's supposed to be. So I think these are correct now and one and two were swapped. So on this one, we have 0 0.012 and this one we have 12 meters. So, okay, so let's take a look. This is the only one that we can change this. So I think the problem is, is it's kilometers and we want meters. So let's hit that and save it. So they should all say 12 meters. 12 meters, 12 meters, 
Homers. Okay, so finally, this one is working exactly how we want. Good, good. And I think this one is all good now as well. It's just funny that they, they're missing some features. So this one doesn't have these two features, and this one doesn't have the velocity feature. Oh, well. All right, let's check out number five. Moon altitude is at 499. All right, so I'm guessing they're just calculating different. So this, these guys, or this one, is using 500,000 as the distance to the moon, but the other guys are using 49196, I think. Let's see if that works. All right, so let's check it. Okay, so they all should say 490 now, or whatever it is. 49183, 49183, 49183. So for some reason, this one was using a distance of 500,000 for the moon. And these guys are using 49196. And I don't know why. So I don't know which one is accurate. Is it 500,000 uh, meters to the moon? Or is it 490,196? So let me know in the comments below if you know. Uh, I don't know where that's printed anywhere. Is it printed anywhere by Geometa? Like what the distance is? Or if someone like tracked it by going to the moon? I don't know. But uh, let me know why this guy might have used uh, 500,000 versus the 49196. All right, so looking at all these, I think number seven seems the most complete. It's just missing the distance to the moon and the lunar approach speed. So pretty complete. Seems to be working out of the box without any tweaks. Whereas this one, I had to tweak the, uh, the unit and I did have to swap these because they seem to be incorrect. Um, this one also had a different calculation than the rest of them using 500,000. So not too sure which is actually the correct distance to the moon. But uh, yeah, there you go. So all these are listed below. Give them a try. So as more astronomy sensor microcontrollers come out, I will be updating this video, which means a new video, of course. But we'll just keep building out some videos where we show microcontrollers that do similar things and maybe the features they have. Because it's really hard to tell in the workshop when people don't actually give demos sometimes and you don't have like a demonstration. So I think this will be useful for myself and maybe you. If you're curious about a group of microcontrollers that, you know, do something like HUDs. I really want to do HUDs. Maybe we'll do that next time. But anyways, that's it for today. Links are in the description, labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And you can download these and leave feedback and use them on your creations. All right, see you next time. Goodbye.